welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, let's try and do a bit of a uh, beginner's guide because I keep seeing this coming up. Um, so, how do you change the plugs on a uh, on a battery? So, this one's got a Dean's T connector on it. Uh, we've got this nice little clamp that uh, makes it a lot easier. You literally just place it in, tighten it up. And then that'll hold it in place for you. Now, this is a what we got 8,000 milliamp hour 100C battery 3S. Do not shut these two out because it will spark, it will make you jump. It's not likely to explode unless you solder them together. But uh, first thing we need to do is get the um, insulation off. Because I'm going to try and do this without chopping the uh, original plug off. I'm going to try and unsolder it. And that way you, you keep more of your cable. I've just got to cut through this heat shrink. And this is uh, this is definitely something you want to do one at a time, if you want to minimise the uh, the risk of you getting a zap from it or getting it to arc out. So on this one, uh, let's have a look what uh, what vehicle we're putting these on. So this is going to be going on to the EXB setup. So let's get a connect to what I'm using on that one. We need so we need a connector and a cover. We're going to be sticking that on the uh, battery for the AXB. So you want your soldering iron nice and warm. And then it helps the solder flow if you get a little bit of solder on the uh, on the tip of it. Especially if it's uh, soldered with flux in. Let's get in there. Try not to breathe too much of this in. It's uh, it's probably not good for you, and it stinks. Now this is going to be awkward because what I'm what I've got to try and do is keep it on camera, and then uh, manage to sol unsolder it at the same time. So I'll do my best to keep it in shot. But basically, all we all we're looking to do here is just melt the uh, original solder. And this is why I say don't remove the uh, heat shrink from the positive or negative, whichever you've, uh, you're going to be attempting next. Don't remove that until you've got one off and completely out the way. Just makes it less likely that you're going to have a short on the battery. And this is when I really could do a hotter soldering iron. It will get there. Just doesn't hold as much heat as uh, as I'd like. So basically, you just want to hold it on. You'll feel it as it starts melting its way through, and there you go, that's one off. Now what I find it easier to do, is as soon as I've got that one off, remove that one, and then you've got your new uh, new connector that you're going to stick on. These are pretty good because they're, uh, they're all labelled, so it's the... Uh, 
the one nearest the small end that we're gonna we're gonna solder the negative to. So I'll drop that in there, and then we want to get a uh, coating on this. So let's see if I can manage to do it in shot. So we just want to want to get this warm, get a bit of flux flowing in there. Just helps your uh, makes your life easier when you when you're soldering your wire into it. Now we want. <laughs> we don't want to be uh, that cover's going to go on afterwards, so you want to get that on your cable. And these wires can get hot. So you want to position your cable where you need it, your battery cable. Mm -hmm. And that's one. So you can drop it off and have a look make sure it's soldered in there nice and tight and then we want to get the uh, positive wire off And doing it this way you get to keep the connector in fairly good shape so if you ever do need to use it on anything now again this is a uh, a battery in storage mode so you've now got to be careful not to uh, not to short these two pins out so what I'm gonna do again I'm quickly gonna in this one just to make his job a bit easier if you get the solder already flowing onto the plug side it does make it a lot easier to solder the wire to it right so next one let's get the positive on now you want to pass it through the uh, cover because you can't get that on once you've soldered it and then basically all we're looking to do is heat this one up and that's it so what we're looking for 
you want both of these to be on really really sturdy and then you can slide down the uh, cover and it should just clip on and there you go one battery connector swapped It's on nice and neat, nothing shorting out. And you can put uh, heat shrink around these if you like, but I've never found the uh, the need. It does uh, the plastic caps keep them apart anyway. Right, thanks for watching WTFRC cars. If you like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>